Well, guys, happy Tuesday and happy Thanksgiving week to everyone. I hope you're all focusing and concentrating on what you're thankful for this week and try to carry that into the other 52, 51 weeks of the year. I think that's a pretty good practice for all of us. My name is Zeno Lancaster. I'm the managing attorney for Lancaster Law Firm, headquartered in Nashville with offices in Canton and Hendersonville, North Carolina. We are here to help you with your real estate needs, anything you guys might need. We have three offices in three different counties. Um, we have lots of attorneys, lots of paralegals to get your closings done, get your uh, questions answered, and most importantly, to help you guys compete. Um, I am here to talk to you today about rush closings. Man, we have had a huge, huge interest in the rush closings we're offering. And if you need a closing done in less than four weeks, we can get it done. We had no idea we would have such a response um, from the real estate community on this. And I'm curious, I wanna see comments and questions below. How important do you think it is to put um, <clears throat> a fast closing date on your contracts? You know, <clears throat> a lot of times this is for cash deals because we don't have to wait on underwriting and lending. Uh, but I, I've, I've, I, we did a three week closing um, a few weeks ago where the, the, the lender got it done got it done and that helped them get their contract accepted. So I'm just curious, you know, I also have the uh, the question, you know, what happens if, if I'm a seller and you say, um, Zeno, I'd like to close in two weeks, uh, maybe I can't move out in two weeks. So how do you guys submit those offers? I'm curious, do you say, here's an offer, we can close in two weeks, but if you need more time, that's okay. Is that how it's done? Curious how you guys send that in. Um, but I'm also curious if anybody wanted to chime in about how being able to close has either helped them or if you don't think it's a big deal. Um, hi, Elena. Welcome. Um, so chime in below. It ha it has being able to offer a rush closing helped you get an offer accepted? Do you think that not being able to has ever hindered you in, in getting a contract accepted? If the folks you're working with, you just know they're booked out for two months you send in that contract, are you having to put two months out on your contracts for closing? I'm curious if people are actually doing that. Um, and, and so I'm curious what you what you might think about that. Now, um, Ty, we had a, a, someone sent in a question the other day saying, I didn't think you could get title done. I, I joked about getting it done in a day, which is actually possible. Um, but of course we have other files and staff are busy and everything, so we hope most people don't need it done in a day. But he said, I thought it took a few days to get title done. Um, I'm here to tell you it doesn't. Uh, there are certainly maybe some bodies out there telling you it does. If you freelance, if you hire a freelancer to do your title work, someone that doesn't work for you that's down in a register of deeds somewhere, maybe they need a few days for some reason. Um, I don't know the answer to that. But when you search in-house like we do, you can control the title search period. Now, having said all of that, we do want you to give us a little while to get the title done in general, if it's not a rush on your end, um, just so our staff can take a breath and a lunch. But, but uh, we can get that done. So we've been very, very happy with the response to our rush, closing, uh, rush closings that we've been marketing. We're getting quite a few every week. We're getting to work with some new and great realtors that we've never worked with before because they needed a rush closing and they couldn't find that with their uh, typical go-to and hopefully we can of course become their typical go-to and if not i'd love for them to give us a pardoning gift of here's what you can improve so i'll throw that in there too if you've done a rush closing with us um let us know let us know what else we can do for you you know we're, we're offering these rush closings we're offering the three locations all of that what else can we do what else can we add to our service plate that we're handing out to everyone um, this is going to be a quick one. That's what I'm talking about. So please let me know. Has it been a big help being able to offer rush closings in your contracts? Or do you, or some of you think it's not a big deal? And also, um, do you think it's a hindrance not to be able to offer it? And I think that that's probably, I guess, obvious, but some of you might think it's not. You know, does price control period? Does due diligence money control period? Closing date doesn't matter. What do you think? So post in the comments below. Again, my name is Zeno Lancaster. I'm the owner of Lancaster Law Firm. Um, you'll find me on Instagram at flying underscore casual at Lancaster Law Firm. We're also on, uh, obviously, in this Facebook group. If you know of anyone that might benefit from being in the group, might be able to bring some wisdom into the group, please invite them to the group. Please tag them in the comments below. Have a great Thanksgiving week. Be nice to each other. Be kind to each other.